Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to open up a panel and then we're going to simulate a couple lights flashing so we can simulate a running process or a process that has been halted or ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is bring in the actual control panel. So I have a blank cell. So anytime you're going to animate something, most likely it's going to be under the heading of machines. The other items we cannot animate. So let's go under machines. We're going to right click. We're going to add machine from CAD library. And we're going to go under obstacles. And inside here, we're going to have the operators. And we have a couple different operating machines two of them that have lights on top, actually three of them that have lights on top. So let's go with the operating panel 01, hit OK. And let's bring it down to the ground. Let's flip it around so we can also see it and move it kind of to the back of the robot. So we have our operating panel up front. We have our light simulating and we have it. Let's make it a nice nominal number. So now we have it in place. Let's lock all the location values. Hit OK. So now we have the machine one. Now we're going to simulate a light going on and off. Now to do this, the way I found to do it is to make it appear and make it a disappear. So what you need to do is warp it to place and then you warp it out of place. So under machine one, right click, add link, and we're going to go to sphere. And here's our sphere. Right now it is an orange sphere. So let's just bring it up and let's modify the sphere color. So let's go to link CAD and then let's go to say 200 millimeter sphere. Let's bring this up. Let's make this our red light first. So let's go here, red light. And then let's also make this transparent. So right around here is a good transparency. We're going to hit apply. Now we have our red light. So now I'm going to bring this so that it is centered on our actual light down view. So now we have our sphere. So red light simulation as it is on. Let's make it nice nominal numbers. All right, so now that we have that, we can lock our location values and let's go to motion and under motion we're going to add our IO control. Now this is our first movement in our actual cell but if you have multiple movements in your cell you want to make a list of everything so you know what digital ins and what digital outputs are doing what. So we're going to do a linear movement and Basically what we want it to happen is we want to warp it here and we want to warp it away as fast as we can. So it looks like it's blinking. So we're going to go the max amount, which is 1 million. And then we're going to have our control one, control one. And then we're going to use digital output number one for this. Digital output number one. One is going to be on, one is going to be off. So when it's on, we're going to have the light on. When it's off, we're going to have the light off. So what we're going to do is we're going to warp it down below. So let's go say negative 3000 to make sure that we are outside of our grid. So let's test. So it's below the ground right now. So if I go here, way down below the ground and we have it up here. So let's actually bring it down just below the ground so that it's not doing additional numbers. So it makes it appear to go faster. So let's go say 1500, see what it looks like. Uh, right now it's inside there. Let's go negative 2500. So that's pretty close. So I'm not going to mess with that too much more, but it's definitely below the ground. So basically when it's on, it tests. And when it's off, it warps below. And it's warping at a large, large amount. So it looks like it's actually appearing. Now we don't need to, because we're moving so fast, we do not need to put in an output. So we're going to hit OK. Now we have our light. So let's simulate this. So let's go up to Teach, Add Simulation Program. And we're going to call this Red Light Blinking. Hit OK. So we have our red light blinking and we're going to go in here. We're going to turn our digital one on. We're going to wait one second. Then we're going to turn our digital one off. And then we're going to wait one second. And then we're going to jump to the beginning so we can make this looped. And let's add a label to the beginning. All right, so now we have our program. Let's run this. There we go. So now we have a simulation red light flashing. 
back and forth. Let's uh, stop this. So now that we have red light, let's uh, clean up our program just a little bit. So let's go down here where it says machine one. So let's call this our station. So machine one, let's call it station. And then let's add, let's rename this instead of link one. Let's go to general and let's call this red light. So we have it as red light and let's make another red light. So let's right click on this. Let's go copy red light and let's click station, right click under station and go paste red light. So now we have another red light. Let's double click this one and let's call this green light or the next line. Let's just do the yellow light next yellow light. Link CAD. Let's go to yellow color. Let's click lock all location values. We're gonna hit apply on this and then let's bring this down just a hair bit so we have it below our device. So let's go 1600, say. And let's actually see it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click on red. Let's turn off the visibility of the red light and let's go to the yellow light, which we put down below right now. So let's go to motion, make sure we're in the same place, zero test. So now 16 was a little too much, 1800 and bring it up just a hair bit more. Go, so we're in that point. So let's go 1900 is our number. So now we have our motion, so we can test this. So we have our test, which is at zero and then test, which is down below. So all we're doing is just modifying this so that it's down below. So yellow light, hit okay. So now we have our yellow light created. Let's right click on that. Let's go copy yellow light and let's hide this. Click station, right click, paste. And let's double click that and rename it to green light. Go to motion, make sure we're at zero. And then we're going to bring this down. So let's go to link CAD, make sure it's unchecked for locations. Let's bring this down so it's in the green area and make it a nice nominal number. There we go. And let's change the color to green. Hit apply. So now we have our green light. And we have our yellow light and also our red light. So let's make the simulations for each one of these. So making sure that we also have the digitals are correct. So let's go in the red light. Let's turn the visibility back on. Go in the yellow light. Let's turn the visibility back on. Then let's make sure our digital outputs are the correct amount. So let's go red light. This should be digital output number one. Let's go yellow. This should be digital output number two on off. And let's go to green and let's change this to digital output number three on off. So now that we have all those correct, what we can do is we can copy this now program and then we can paste it. So we have red light blinking two, one, and then we can rename it. So let's go right click rename and instead of red light, let's go yellow light. And then let's go right click and let's paste the red light again and let's rename this. So let's call this green light blinking. Let's go into that program, double click it and make sure it's the green light. So that is digital output number three. So now that one is correct. Let's go in the yellow light, double click it and make sure this says digital output number two. So now that we have all our lights, let's just test it out to make sure we're good. So we'll go cycle start. So there's our green light. Now you'll notice that the red light is still on. So we may want to put in there 
to make sure that our red light is not going to be on and our yellow light is not going to be on during our green light running. So let's uh, stop that and create our program. So let's go back under green light and inside the green light, let's add a few more digital outputs. So let's go digital one is going to be off and also we're going to have digital two to be off. Let's move this before our jump label. So it automatically turns it off, but we're not continuously turning it off, turning it off. There we go. So we go in, we go the red light off, the yellow light off, and then we start looping the green light. Let's do the same thing for our red light. So let's double click the red light. Let's add our digital two off, and then we're going to go digital three off. Let's move these up so it's outside. And then we're going to move into the yellow light and let's add our instruction of digital one off and then digital three off, which is our green light. Let's test it out. Let's run this. There we go. So both of our lights went away and now we have our yellow light. So when I stop this with the yellow light on and I close this and I go into the red light, and run it. Yellow light disappears. We have our red light blinking. If I stop this with the red light on and go to the green light and run this, red light should disappear and we have our green light blinking. So this is a way to simulate the light blinking during when your cell is actually working.